In this screencast, we will have a brief overview on how to use Access Control Lists in Pathfinder 6. Access Control Lists give you more flexibility and a finer level of detail as far as who can access what files. To get started, select a file and show its Get Info window. In that window, there is a Permissions section. You can set basic Unix file permissions right there and also change the file owner and group. For now, we will leave them as they are. If traditional Unix file permissions are not flexible enough to set file access exactly as we would like, we can use Access Control Lists. Click the Access Control List button and a new window will appear. Here, you can see the list of all permissions for this file. There are two sections. The Access Control List is at the top and the traditional Unix and POSIX permissions are at the bottom of the list. Unix permissions are the same as the one in the Get Info window, so let's concentrate on the Access Control List part. For example, let's say we want to deny user John all write access to this file. Click the plus button and the list of all the users and groups on this system appears. Find the user John and drag him into the list. In the sheet that appears, check the Write checkbox and uncheck the others. Then choose Deny from the pop-up button. This will deny user John write access and leave other access types intact. You can expand the Write checkbox to see the details of all the write permissions. You can check and uncheck boxes to change the level of detailed access that you require. In this example, we will deny access for all writes. Click OK and then Save. You can use this method to add more rules for different users. Access control lists always take precedence over traditional Unix permissions. This has been a brief overview on setting and using access control lists in Pathfinder 6. Thanks for watching.